Hello, I'm Dave from DynaBC, and today we're teaching you how to put on an Intel stock cooler. So for those of you guys who hadn't realized already, the last video which you can click here to go and see is how we installed an Intel CPU. We installed an i5 into, well, actually this. And uh, we filmed all the parts at once and we thought instead of showing you all in one, we're gonna separate them out because we want to make an easy guide that everyone can follow in total. So if this is a little bit janky, don't worry about it. Let me introduce to you Nicola, who's gonna take you through building an Intel stock cooler inside your rig. Let's see how to install the stock cooler. This is a typical Intel stock cooler. As you can see, the thermal paste has been pre-applied. The thermal paste paste is fundamental because it's gonna help your CPU to stay cool. Never forget to install the thermal paste. As I said, in every Intel stock cooler, the thermal paste is pre-applied, so you don't really need to do anything. So just grab the cooler, undo the cabling. At this point, you're gonna see that there are hooks here. We need to match, we need to match this for pins to the four holes I showed you before on the motherboard. Once we do that, what we want to do is to push each single one down. Once you hear the click, it means that the cooler is fitted. As you can see, you will be able to lift the motherboard, no problem at all. It should be very, very attached to your CPU. If you make a mistake and you need to remove the cooler or for whatever reason you need to remove the cooler, you just undo one of the pins and lift all of them and the cooler is gonna easily come out. Now, to put it back in place, twist every clip again, place the cooler back in. As you can see, the thermal paste sp spread out evenly. The pre-applied thermal paste is already on the CPU. So let's just put it quick, quickly back in place, and here, it is, and here it is. So this is what makes the fan spin. As I mentioned before, we need to find where our connector is. You can see there is a similar connector here where you can connect the fan, but this is used for case fan. The CPU fan has always be, the CPU fan always needs to go in one of these plugs where it says CPU fan. You can't miss it, the label is really clear, and that's, and that's where you need to plug this in. So you wanna do this, it's very, very simple, be gentle, it's gonna go in smoothly. One thing that you wanna take care of is this cable. For no reason you want this cable to go in the middle here, otherwise it's gonna be clicking, or in a worst case scenario you could block the fan, causing your computer to overheat. So there are some guides here, little hooks that you can use to grab the cable and comfortably blocking it like this. This is a very simple way to do it. Alternatively, you can maybe make it pass underneath or you can cable tie it, it's up to you. This is very simple, it's toolless, the cable is unlikely to go anywhere, it will never go in between the fan, it's safe and sound. Probably not, not the most beautiful wiring, but for now it's more than fine. This is our motherboard with the stock cooler installed. As you can see, the motherboard doesn't go anywhere. As you can see, the cooler is fully fit in the motherboard. There is no space in between the cooler and the CPU. Make sure the cooler is fit and is touching the CPU. Otherwise your computer is gonna overheat or not working at all. The cooler, needs to hold the motherboard. It doesn't have to go anywhere. If you wanna be creative with this cable, you maybe wanna pass it here, and, and so you can block it and it's not gonna go over your RAM slots. Thank you very much for watching. That was the Intel stock cooler. Um, next video is going to show you how to install an air cooler, and quite a complicated one at that. Some of the air coolers that you'll be able to get are gonna be more basic, but we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. So yeah, now we're at the point where I've got to basically make a blooper because Nico is way too good to actually have bloopers. So, um, I don't know. Leave a like if you want to see this thing being benchmarked. Um, 
do you like our Dino PC thing we got going here? I'm really hungry and I've got steak, but other people are cooking, so I can't cook. This is all just filler, really. I'm gonna get a donut. <laughs>